Good morning. This is March the 5th, and we're, we're in the book of Luke in the third chapter in the fourth verse. I'd like to read you some verses here to open your eyes to the ways of the Lord as you've gotten up this morning. And in, in verse 2 it says, In the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. This is John the Baptist. And notice now, he was filled in his mother's womb when he, in six months into her pregnancy because we know that the Holy Spirit caused the baby to jump when Jesus' his mother, Mary, came up. So that we know that he was taught by the Holy Spirit in his mother's womb. But here, after he's become a man and he's out there living with camel hair and eating locusts and honey, says he came into the district around the Jordan preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, make ready the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Every ravine shall be filled up. Every mountain and hill shall be brought low. And crooked shall become straight. And the rough roads are smooth. And all flesh shall see the salvation of the Lord. Now we were talking earlier and in the past that we're headed to, to the time of Jesus' resurrection. But from his birth until his resurrection for that period of time for 33 and a half years, 30, 30 years when he got baptized by John and, and in the three and a half years of his ministry, we know that everything John did and everything that God was doing was leading up to the salvation of the Lord, which would come through Jesus coming here to this earth, born of a virgin, raised up in the admonition of the Lord. And then when John was baptizing, as prophesied 700 years before Jesus came through Isaiah, that it makes way the way of the Lord. Now Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is the, the salvation. Jesus is the hope. Jesus is the blood. Jesus is everything that encompasses us and brings us to complete oneness with God our Father. John the Baptist was filled with the Spirit of God to bring and to tell that the way to the Lord would be made straight, would be made flat. The mountains would be lowered. The valleys raised up. The crooks and the nooks and all the disturbances and all the things to keep man from, from coming back to reconciliation with God his Father would be made and removed all the disturbances and hindrances to us coming to Jesus' feet and say, Lord, Savior, God save me through your Son. It was all prophesied. Everything God does is prophesied and spoken and written in His Word what we are to do. And He's telling you and I to come forth to, to where nothing is impossible and that we are going to make way the ways of the Lord. We're going to speak and say what the way of the Lord is. What is the way of the Lord? In Romans 10 it says, Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus and believes that God is His Father hung on the cross for their sins and He was crucified and was buried and on the third day he was resurrected shall become a son of God. The Spirit of God is drawing us and wooing us to the throne room to receive Jesus our Savior through his shed blood. Once and for all we've been made right. May this show you that we are also like John the Baptist or in symbolism of John the Baptist who go and tell people there is nothing that you cannot achieve in the Lord. Repent therefore and receive the salvation of the Lord Jesus today. Amen.